Mm. Mm. <clears throat> oh! Wait, did you test the security system? Don't give her any chance to sabotage my show again. What's up, Free Fire? Welcome to another awesome episode of The Kelly Show. Now, as your host and a dear friend, I feel it necessary to address the fact that Moko has started her own show as well. Don't worry about the competition, guys. It's natural for a brilliant person like myself to inspire others. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to business. First up, a brand new feature that I've been dying to tell you about. Ta-da! Introducing the airdrop vetting machine. Ah! Finally, right? This new feature will help you loot in peace by reducing your travel range and your chances in engaging with enemies. But the perks don't stop there. The airdrop vending machine sells items that you don't typically see in the regular ones, so you might find some surprises in here. Plus, it can also act as cover if you get attacked during your hoard. Moving on, we now have attachments specially for the bulletproof vest and the helmet. And the capacity of your backpack has also been upgraded to fit the new items. Huh? These new attachments can boost the defensive power of the vest and helmet, helping you last longer on the battlefield. Simply equip them in the designated slots in your backpack. Another useful addition to the backpack is its drop area, which now has drop entire and drop parts options. This means that you no longer have to give your teammates all your med kits, as your inventory can now be split into stacks. Huh. Unknown caller. Anyway, battle score calculations in the Battle Royale ranked mode have also been tuned. We understand that adding the revival system in this mode has led to more enemies returning to the battlefield, which has made it difficult to achieve a higher placement in the game. Starting this patch, the score calculations will take this into account, adding points for those who revive others and subtracting points for those who get revived to ensure that it's a fair fight for everyone. As for weapon updates, we have an exciting improvement to the treatment gun, which will now have the function of auto-aiming at your teammates. The weapons below have also been adjusted for better balance. Also, be mindful of how you look when shooting your guns and wielding your swords, as we now have a cool new replay feature. At the end of a battle, you will now have an option of saving the footage. If you think that it's a fight to remember, simply save the video and you'll find it on your profile page. That's all for today's episode of What's Up, Free Fire. As usual. Uh, sorry, guys. I guess I have to get this. See you in the game! <laughs>